Hello my friends and welcome to episode 11 of Hugh in London. So today I'm taking you, because you can see behind me here, I'm taking you on this pathway to the Queen's Wood. Also today I'm going to be letting you hear from actress Ella Bourne. Uh, um, Ella is from Australia. I met her in my acting class in Los Angeles Studio 24-7. I'm hoping that by sharing these stories with you, you're gonna get a different perspective, not just on my journey uh, as an actor and over here to London, but also on, uh, in general, just on the struggles that actors face uh, all over the world. So, take it away, Ella. Hi, I'm Ella Bourne. Um, I'm an Australian actress. Um, I grew up in a really small town in Australia, and when I was 18, I moved to Melbourne, one of the biggest cities in Australia, to pursue acting. I think a lot of other actors would have waited for their career to be far more established back in Australia before trying to take it internationally. Um, but having visited a few years ago and seeing what was possible out here and what was happening, I just knew that it was kind of this epicenter of acting and so I decided to just take the leap and just to see what happened. I mean, I'm just waiting on like Robin Hood and Maid Marian to come bursting out of the trees or something. This place is amazing. Financially, it's a really, really hard city to live in, to be working enough hours to make sure that you can live comfortably while still being a thousand percent proactive um, towards your career. So I was walking here in the woods the other day and I came across this. Very unusual looking thing. It looks like something out of a out of a predator movie or something or, <laughs> or something from ancient Egypt. It's like constantly going on job interviews and you're left in the dark of I don't know whether I've got this and it kind of leaves you hanging and there's like there's this constant like way that you're living that's like slightly in fear but like slight excitement. The very positive aspect of uh, having to move to another country is it really lights a fire under you. You are forced to move internationally and you have a whole new focus of people and of how things are done and it's really, it, it's really made me go 100% for it. I don't think you choose acting, I think it chooses you and I think that's true for all artists. Um, I think it's something that is in you that you have to get out and share with the world. Being here and being a part of it and seeing for myself what it was all about has been such an amazing journey. It just, it really opened my eyes to what is possible and that anything really is possible for anyone. I just find it fascinating uh, listening to other actors' stories. Um, it just, I remember listening to so many different personal monologues back in Los Angeles and it was, every actor has a fascinating, unique story. Um, but yet at the same time, you know, we're all in the same soup, uh, so to speak. So, you know, there's connections there for all of us. Um, and so um, I'm hoping that by, by hearing these stories that you might have some more understanding, perhaps a little bit of empathy for what it's like to be an actor, the struggles of an actor. And for all the actors watching, um, hey, it's a good thing to have more understanding, right? And, and empathy in our direction. So <laughs> it's a win-win for everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And uh, as we say in Ireland, Slán Yat Goodbye, my friends. Until next week. Boom.